Yes, exactly. Okay, so you or you you said operating time? Yeah. Yeah. So and you guys were describing types of things. She was kind of nailing on the head like what it is. Vibration is the space. Okay. So you can resonate kind of in the space back here, right? Oh right? You can resonate on here. Ah. <laughs> so resonance happens in here, but it also happens in the room. Okay, so you can have resonant rooms, you can have non okay. So yeah, we basically want as much resonance as possible, but also to be able to control where it goes. What placement? Yeah, that's different ways you can get it. It's just basically where it is. Like I was kind of saying earlier, obviously we have <coughs> our voice box doing the real thing. Okay. But if we don't think about that and we think about placement, it's like over the years people have just assigned different words for different places of sound. Anyone think of those words or terms for our sound? So no, we don't know. Oh. You heard of head voice? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yes. oh. <laughs> I was thinking like, I'm some like a walkie so. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so the kind of voice. So, ladies, we're just describing what head voice is. Oh, hello. Right is where What? Okay, how do we 
Longer and taller. You need to think even more than your than your mouth is giving. Up and down. I like to sort of imagine that my jaw can go to the floor. What's one danger with that though? <laughs> you can overdo it. You can overshoot. You can create more tension. It's just an image thing. It's just I have as much space as up and down as I can go. Inside. Let's try it again. Ready? <laughs>
one one way I want you guys to think about men is that you're just kind of you're just mixing it. Why is that a better term than saying I'm still in my chest voice? I would say that that still is kind of chest voice. Head voice not anymore. Okay, and that's not full set. Of we take that like lightness of the head with that connectedness of the chest, and we're not pulling up, right? So let's just go here. Okay, you can go. Hey. Hey. Hey there. Hey there. Okay. I want you to just imagine right here in the mask. Have you heard of the mask before? That's just a way, another way of describing a placement thing. Okay. Because some people have said like in the back and the. And the, um, the tongue, the top palette. None of that's wrong. It's just a point of describing thing. Right here is the mask. It's just kind of cheekbones. What's a, what's the danger of saying I'm going to sing here forward? Nasal. Nasal. So how is this not nasally? Hey. It's like right. It's not right. Yeah. Hey. What's happening when you go nasal? What's happening is a closure in the back. Your soft palate isn't open anymore. Okay? Hey! Right? It's just going down. And you can feel it in your nose. You plug it. Right? But hey! Nothing changes because I'm still keeping that warmth. No matter what style of singing you're doing, solo, fire, anything that you're doing, any style, pop, L, classical, you still have your soft palate. No matter what. Okay? So think about that, guys, okay? As the, as you put your sound here. Okay? Hey! Hey! Okay? That's nice and lighter. Hey! hey. Okay, so that's where we want to be, that's where we're kind of like, mm, this is not where to put it. And then we kind of went to the singing brain, okay? The singing brain is something I like to call. Um, when we kind of are disconnecting what we should be doing and going back to sort of our old habits, okay? So things like you guys do it really nice when you speak it there, hey! But then you go and sing it and you go, hey! Right? Your singing brain is taking over, meaning, okay, well that's how I sing now, so I'm going into that mode, rather than just trusting that speak, right? So if I speak it, hey! And then I try to sing it, doing that same thing. Hey, 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 hey. See how there's like no change except for pitch? That's sort of the idea. So when you go to sing it, I don't really want you to change anything that you did when you called it out. So call that, call it out again. Hey. Hey. Okay. Sometimes too, when you get more advanced when, when you're 
trying to keep all these things kind of mechanical all along. So we want that, but we're also trying to think low. Okay, so let, let's just kind of separate them. Let's do this again. Good. And now I want you to keep that. Okay, keep that feeling of I'm, I'm going over like that rather than no, no, no. And think of that down column. Ready? Okay, it's a balance. There was maybe a little less of this, but then it felt more supported, right? Okay, nice, nice, nice exploration. Ladies, then you can have a seat, but don't chat. Hey, okay, ladies, it's kind of exploring. <coughs> same thing. Where, place it wise, do we feel that this is happening? It's a little more chesty, right? If we are mixing a little bit, <coughs> describe to me how that's working. Why, why would that make sense? Is it 100% pure chest? No. Why? Okay, good. So you're already doing it. It's knowing what your instrument's supposed to do. 
but feeling like it's so have a sense of control without having to have more tension and give yourself more sound. Okay. Great guys. You guys are an excellent group. Thank you. Alright, so give him a hand. You. There will be an assignment on campus. Okay? Five things you notice. One thing you personally improved on and you're going to make <laughs>